So Android phones are amazing. I love them so much. And I want to go and show you some of my most favorite note-taking applications on my Android device. Now, these can range. I've used a lot of them. But these three right here are my most favorite ones. So the very first one that I probably will say, if you want my favorite one that I use typically on an everyday basis, is Google Keep. On any of my Android phones, not this one in particular, you can see I have no notes here, but Google Keep I think is probably the best specific you know, Android note-taking app that you could probably use. It's free, it's by Google, and it blends in so well with all my other applications that I use from the Google side, and it works out so well. Like I said, this is the one that I typically use. So this is what it looks like, Google Keep. Now, the thing I love about Google Keep is that this specific one, like I said, it's just very, very basic. It doesn't have any like crazy, it doesn't try to make you buy things every 15 seconds. It's a very basic application. So basically how it works, you just come into the application like this, you click the plus button down here, and you can start creating your new note. So you can title this note whatever you want to. It's a fairly basic note-taking app, and you can use this on you know, your Pixel, you can use this on a tablet, you can use this on any phone, Samsung Galaxy, it's not just like Samsung Notes where it's only like a certain phones. You can use this on any single one. So if you have like a to-do list or something like that, right, you can come here and you can already start creating the list if you want to. So you can go and create, you know, click this plus button down here at the bottom of the left, and you can take a photo of something, you can add an image, you can start drawing on it, you can start recording, you can start doing checkboxes here too. The checkboxes was the probably the biggest item that I used within this specific phone, not the specific phone, the specific you know application, and it's something I use all the time. I love going through and kind of making to-do lists, but you also have this little palette right here. You can change the background of your notes, which is super nice. So you can just go right here and just start creating different notes if you want to, which is so cool. And it is kind of like a creative type of application. You can also just change the background if you want to, like a different silhouette. And you can go and turn off the background too if you want to. But you can also change everything. You can just really do whatever you want to here, which is so cool. So I personally actually like this specific application a lot. It is probably my go-to one. I don't really use it like the background or change the wallpaper. I use it as a basic note application, but it's still something that's really cool. Now, Evernote is another one that's very, very popular. Now, I kind of like Evernote, but the reason I don't is because, like I said, there's a lot of like trials. They try to like make you buy and stuff. Also, I think it's kind of a clunky application, but it is a very, very good one, and a lot of people die by this one as well. Now, with this one, you can just tap here and basically create a new note, as you always do, and it's very similar like with Google Keep, so you can just go up here and you can type in whatever you want to. So I like it. I think it's good. You can start writing the note every you want to, and it already kind of gives you suggestions here and there like a to-do list or a meeting notes or a project, whatever you have. So you can actually just quickly toggle through here and just kind of choose something that you want to. Like you can do like daily reflection and it will already give you templates. And that's something I like about Google, about Evernote is that there's templates built in that will just kind of just suggest you or give you suggestions as you're kind of going through and actually typing out. So that's something I actually do like. Now you can actually go through and kind of change up other things. Like you can share this note, you can find a note, you can make it available offline, which I think Google Keep also does. And you have a lot of other options here too. Now, like I said, I don't think this is like the first one I'd recommend, but it's still a really, really good application that I would probably recommend people to do as well. And then we have Microsoft OneNote. This is another decent one. I don't really use Microsoft products too much. I use OneDrive sometimes, but for the most part, Microsoft OneNote is still a very, very good application. You still have a bunch of features built in, lots of images, lots of photos, which is really cool. And I like it, I think it's cool. But I definitely do think that probably Google Keep is my favorite one. It probably doesn't have the most amount of features, but it's still a really nice application. And then Evernote is probably number two, and Microsoft OneNote is probably number two as well. They're both probably tied to second place. So those are my favorite note-taking apps on my Android device. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.